was actually pouring rain a while ago, but it just stopped. And what's going on today? It's kind of interesting pieces of news I read today. How about this first one? Apparently there is a demand for drone delivery for things like mail. This one says, Royal Mail wants fleet of 500 drones to carry mail to remote UK communities. In the next three years, it hopes up to 200 drones will carry the mail on 50 new routes in the Isle of Scilly, Shetland Islands, Orkney Islands, and the Herbrides, the first to benefit. The new services need approval from the Civil Aviation Authority. So that seems to be a common theme at the moment. Basically regulations stopping a lot of companies from using drones in various applications. And it says here, the new routes will depend upon the ongoing plan improvements in unmanned aerial vehicle economics. Royal Mail has been testing the use of drones for some time with the most recent trial held in April in the Shetland Islands. The drones delivered mail between Tingwall Airport in Lurwick in Unsprint's most northly inhabited island, a 41 mile flight each way. From the sounds of it, it would be delivering things door to door yet anyways. It says the drones he says flies autonomously, although they are supervised remotely by safety pilots who can take control if needed. They are designed to serve what he calls the middle mile. Once their cargo is unloaded, it will be delivered by postal workers. So not completely autonomous. And it says Royal Mail argues that drones offer a chance to reduce carbon emissions. Drone makers, wind racers, Royal Mail's partner on the new routes says they produce 30% fewer emissions than comparable pilot aircraft. This is kind of an interesting statement too. It says the drones are less likely to be affected by bad weather than conventional aircraft. There is no need for the pilot to be able to see where they're going, which means they can fly in fog, he says. And because they're flying rather than going on the sea, they're also not relying on tides. I thought the weather and stuff would be kind of equal. And as well, it depends on what drones they're actually making nowadays, correct? I remember there were a lot of issues with certain delivery drones and all that weather-wise, for example. And with that thought, in terms of comparing, I guess, drones to traditional manned aircraft, this story was actually really interesting. It dealt with a pilot who apparently went unconscious or whatever and he had a passenger. So how do you land the plane? And apparently the passenger actually communicated with the ATC and they actually helped him to land the plane. It was kind of interesting. This one says, passenger with no flying experience lands plane after pilot has medical emergency. Darren Harrison, a passenger with no flying experience, sprung into action and made a miraculous landing when his pilot suffered a medical emergency mid-air. After noticing something was wrong with the pilot, Harrison and another passenger on board the small plane went into the cockpit of the single-engine Cessna 208 and contacted air traffic control in Fort Pierce, Florida, telling them about their situation. So I did find the audio and it was kind of interesting to hear. Again, as they say, the person never flew a plane before. Imagine being the person in the air traffic controller trying to instruct the guy how to land a plane and all that. But in the end, everything worked out. So you can hear it here. I've got a serious situation here. My pilot has gone into I have no idea how to fly the airplane, but I'm in the 9100. Number 333, Lima Delta. Roger, what's your position? I have no idea. I see the coast of Florida in front of me, and I have no idea. Number three, Lima Delta, that came in a little broken. Uh, what, what was the situation with the pilot? He is incoherent. He is out. Number three, Lima Delta, Roger, uh, try to hold the wings level and see if you can start uh, descending for me. Uh, push forward on the uh, controls and uh, descend at a very slow rate. Yeah, I'm descending right now at 550 feet a minute, passing 8640. Number three, Lima Delta on the transponder. If there's a button that says ident, hit the uh, ident button for me. I, uh, I what? Ident, I, I N B E N T. Number three, Lima Delta. No problem. Just uh, c continue to stay wing wings level, maintain 5,000, and uh, follow the coast. And we're going to try to find you here on the radar. Okay, good boy. I have no idea how to stop the airplane. I don't know how to do it. I can... Okay, Tower, Whitecap 321, Holy Short, 1 right there, departure. Whitecap 321, Fort Pierce, Tower, Roger, standby. Got some emergency situation going on. 
I've never tried flying a manned aircraft before, but it actually makes me curious, like in this case, how difficult do you think it would be for yourself if you've never flown one before? Or those with experience, is it easy to get instructions like here to actually operate it? See you guys later.